working on this old hydrotherm. Look at those service history dating back to 1966. I love looking at these old service stickers. It's loco. Anyway, two zone boiler. No heat on the first floor, which is upstairs. I got Godzilla. It's Thursday, December 17th. Sir. All right. No heat on the main floor. The boiler's running. Basement is good. We have a supply pipe leaving here. It's a flow check. This is going upstairs. It's, I can keep my hand on it. It's warm. This is the basement. That's hot. The other side. Keep my hand on that too. And that's hot. So that circulator is the zone. Let's get the voltmeter out, Steven. And we're gonna see if we have 110 volts going to that circulator. Right here. All right, and terminal four. Set it to AC voltage. Inside the wire nut, one lead, and terminal number four, the other. Terminal four down there. What's that, ma'am? Um, can you also, um, or I don't know if you're able to know or see if the circulator pump is new or not? Is it new? Uh -huh. Well, one is new, it looks like here. Okay. What do we got? 0. 0.0845 volt. I'm sure that's in there. Then we're four. Yeah. That's nothing. So no power there. <clears throat> so let's get a uh, a jumper wire, and let's also hold this for a second. I'm gonna check for the voltage going to it. Jump out TT. Sorry, TT. These two right there. Let's see if we can get a relay or not. TT, the first two on the top. I do it. Gotta get it on the screw. Gotta get it on Shot relay. <laughs> I would say so. Alright, relay is bad. Alright, old relay is out. Let me tell you something. One thing I hate are these flat screws. You heard me rant about this before. Like, whoever invented the flat screw really needs to be like shot. They're probably dead anyway because. Who uses these anyway, but 
We got the uh, Takeo SR501 single zone switching relay. We're gonna put this in. So it turns out that we actually installed this circulator about a few weeks ago. The homeowner couldn't figure out who they, who, who she had come do that, even though the sticker was there and there and called somebody else who replaced that one, Takeo 007 non-ECM circulator, by the way, and it didn't solve the problem. And then she found out who she called a few weeks ago, which was us, and now we're here. So, Steven's gonna do the honors. Watch, back this, done. There's line bolts going in. I hate this, by the way. Let's clean this up before we stick it in the hole. So Stephen, sure. I woke up mm -hmm. this morning Copy. and I got a text message from the that radiant stall that we did in this for driveway. Mm -hmm. Working flawlessly. Yeah, I saw the video yesterday. Yeah. But you know, with it, it got cold overnight. Uh huh. So it's kind of a little worried, mm. you know. But uh, working well. And then I look outside my front door mm. and I look at mine. Like, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, I peeped that last night too. <laughs> eh. The first one was good. Yeah. And when you took out, uh. The problem with, with mine is, is that the distance, and this is why it's very important not to, uh, oh, feet. put too much footage in, in on those. Copy. I exceed 200 feet. Mm. I was like, eh, it's like, I think it was like 275 or mm. 290, something like that. Like almost 300 feet. Okay. So that's my downfall. Mm. But, like, close to the sidewalk, you know, it was good. Like, the first maybe 40% mm -hmm. from the sidewalk to the front door was good. And then it got slushy. Mm. And then, you know, it's melting. It's melting because but this ice. It melts the snow, and then it turns into ice. And yep. then the top level is ice. You know? mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah. fuck. It is what it is. Yeah. I felt the full force of that fight, uh, ice because, well, I don't have yeah. <laughs> snow melt. But I definitely wanted it after I see those videos. Remember that guy we went to in Dolson Valley Street? He did the whole snow melt himself. Yeah. And he wanted us to install a boiler for him. Mm -hmm. But he also wanted me to figure out how much load he needs. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> he wanted me to calculate how much, how big of a system he needs mm -hmm. and then give him a quote and then yeah, basically he'll do it himself. Yeah, exactly. That point. <laughs> All right, so. My two neutrals go together there to N. Neutral from the circulator, neutral from power going in. On the back side was this, this. We have to look at the schematic. And if you look closely, the circulator goes to number four, not the one on the, on the way to the right, the one right there, okay. which I believe is normally open. Number four, normally open. That's power. So we're going to take this, put that right there. We're going to go to four, normally open, because it's not normally closed, mm -hmm. it's normally open. When the thermostat calls for heat, then it will uh, power. Mm -hmm. So if I did this right, green light is on. If I bypass TT, which is right there, mm -hmm. circulator circulates. Yep. All right. 
Now, this, I gotta figure out which one is a thermostat. It's not gonna be this one. This is boiler control, which is XX. This is TT, because it goes up the conduit. So, I'll take this, put that in there. And also, if you were running, um, if you wanted a Nest thermostat or a Wi-Fi thermostat, you need that common. Mm -hmm. It's on most new relays now, mm. common wire, but you need that third wire. Yeah. Mm, Nest. Really. Yeah. Nest is marketed to the people. It's great, great uh, advertising. Great advertising. You no. Know? So I'm thinking about getting a gold bracelet so people know I'm a New York plumber. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already got the Cuban link chain. You know what I'm saying? All right, so with thermostats calling, if I turn this on, red light should come on as well. Boom. Voila. But we're not done yet. Mm -mm. This disaster was coming from that relay. Mm -hmm. And then it went to XX, which was XX on the old relay. That's, that communicates with the boiler, telling it to fire up. And this one is also XX. So we need to get, we need to get some thermostat wire because I, I want to wire nut these together here. I don't want to touch that at all, but I want to extend this, splice this together and then go to uh, XX, which is down there, which is five and six, which is calm and normally open. Steve, we'll grab some thermostat. Okay. normally open the other wire is going on calm which is number five they're secure there let's just tuck this wire out of the way right there why don't you the screws oh all right I already know. Mm -hmm. I already know someone's gonna comment like, oh, why didn't you replace the wires going to the other relay? Well, if you see that thing, I think it's from 1966. Sure. You know, if I go in there, it's probably gonna break. <laughs> and I don't have another single zone switching relay in the truck, but I have a two and mm -hmm. I have a six. Yep. And I'm not doing it now. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna give them heat. Uh huh. The first floor. On a snowy day. Yeah. Don't ask, this only turns off power just to this <laughs> zone relay. Yep. That one, uh, that one, how does it get its power? Oh, it gets its power from another source. It's up there, so here's one and there's the other. 
So if we turn this on, circulating, we're good to go.